For years, OpenAI set the pace in artificial intelligence. But on December 1, 2025, Sam Altman declared a code red. Google's Gemini 3 wasn't just catching up, it was forcing OpenAI into emergency mode. What exactly did Altman see that made industry leaders whisper, scary good? The answer begins with a seismic shift, and the consequences could rewrite the rules for everyone. In 2017, a team of Google researchers published a paper that changed the direction of artificial intelligence. Their work, titled Attention is All You Need, introduced the transformer architecture, an idea so influential that every major language model today, from OpenAI's GPT series to Google's own Gemini, traces its core design back to that breakthrough. The transformer ability to process language in parallel, attend to context, and scale with data made it the backbone for the current generation of AI systems. But for a while, Google's early lead faded from the public spotlight. OpenAI's chat GPT stole the headlines and set the pace, pushing Google into a period of intense internal reflection. Yet behind the scenes, Google's teams continued refining and scaling their models, feeding on vast troves of data and leveraging the infrastructure of one of the world's largest tech companies. The payoff arrived with Gemini. After a rocky start, Gemini 3 launched in late 2025 and rapidly gained traction. By October 2025, it had reached 650 million monthly active users, a surge powered not just by marketing, but by technical depth. Gemini 3's architecture builds directly on the Transformer Foundation, and it adds multimodal capabilities. It can process text, images, video, and code in a single workflow. Its context window stretches to 1 million tokens, enough to digest entire code bases or thousands of pages at once. That is not an incremental upgrade. It is a leap that allows the model to synthesize, reason, and act on information at a scale that was impossible just a few years earlier. This technical lineage matters. Google's research culture, shaped by years of publishing and open collaboration, gave it the tools to move fast when the moment demanded it. The Gemini wave did not come out of nowhere. It was the result of years of groundwork, culminating in a model that could be deployed across Search, Workspace Space, and Android in record time. Suddenly, Google's AI was not just a lab curiosity. It became a daily presence for hundreds of millions, woven into the fabric of the world's information systems. For OpenAI, the numbers alone were enough to trigger alarm. Gemini's adoption curve, its performance on complex reasoning tasks, and its seamless integration into the Google ecosystem all pointed to a competitor that was no longer trailing. The roots of Google's rebound run deep, anchored in the same transformer architecture that started it all. Now, the company that once set the standard for AI was reclaiming center stage, driven by a model whose reach, speed, and versatility forced even its fiercest rivals to take notice. On December 1, 2025, OpenAI's usual end-of-year calm was interrupted by a single memo. Sam Altman declared a company-wide code red, and the message was unmistakable. Google's Gemini 3 had shifted the balance of power in artificial intelligence. Reporting in the Wall Street Journal and The Information said, Altman's memo instructed teams to pause all non-essential projects and focus every available resource on ChatGPT's core strengths, quality, speed, reliability, and personalization. The word was simple and direct, focus. Advertising plans once seen as a new revenue engine were put on hold. Ambitious product lines like shopping and health agents were shelved. A personal assistant project called Pulse, designed to weave artificial intelligence into daily routines, was delayed indefinitely. The company hit pause. The holiday wind down vanished overnight as engineers, researchers, and product leads were reassigned to a single mission. Make ChatGPT more essential, more intuitive, and more personal for users. The assignment felt like a single shared mission. Internal commentary described the atmosphere as tense, with hopes for a restful December replaced by a sense of urgency and frustration. The mood around the office was tense. The pivot was not just about product features. It was an open admission that OpenAI's lead was under threat. Gemini 3's rapid climb to 650 million monthly users, 
and its strong performance on reasoning-heavy benchmarks forced Altman to act. The memo called for immediate operational changes and a unified focus, echoing the playbook Google itself used after ChatGPT's debut in 2022. This time, the roles were reversed, and OpenAI found itself on defense with Google's model setting the pace. The message demanded a unified response. Inside OpenAI, the shift was more than symbolic. Teams were pulled from side projects and research initiatives. Resources were concentrated on a new reasoning model and a codenamed project called Garlic, both aimed at regaining ground in the race for artificial intelligence. Leadership acknowledged that Google had taken the lead in certain critical areas, reasoning, scale, and user engagement. The code red memo was not a routine course correction, it was a fire alarm, and the message to staff was clear. The only way forward was to out-innovate, out-ship, and out-personalize the competition. The directive was simple, out-innovate. For OpenAI's engineers and researchers, the days that followed brought long hours and sharpened priorities. The sense of mission was real, but so was the pressure. Every feature, every line of code, every model update now carried the weight of a company fighting to stay at the forefront of artificial intelligence. The arms race had entered a new phase, and for the first time in years, OpenAI found itself chasing instead of leading. Gemini 3's reputation isn't built on headlines or hype. It's grounded in hard numbers and feats that, just a few years ago, would have sounded like science fiction. On the MMMU Pro benchmark, a test that pushes models to reason across text, images, diagrams, and data, Gemini 3 Pro lands at 81%. That is not a narrow language test, it is a gauntlet of cross-domain puzzles, dense scientific charts, and video comprehension. In video understanding specifically, Gemini 3 Pro posts 87.6% on the video MMMU, placing it among the best in the world at parsing events and context from raw footage. But scores alone don't capture what it is like to interact with this system. The million token context window is a leap in memory capacity. Instead of working with a few pages at a time, Gemini can take in an entire code base, hundreds of legal documents, or the full transcript of a multi-day trial in one go, no zo chunking, no loss of detail. This is not just more data, it is a different kind of cognition. With that much context, the model can spot subtle patterns, track long-running arguments, and synthesize information across sources the way a team of analysts might. Beyond memory, Gemini's deep research agent brings a new layer of autonomy. It can browse, gather, and synthesize information over hours, chaining together tools and making decisions on the fly. In internal browser-based tasks, it approaches or matches the best results ever recorded. This is not a chatbot waiting for instructions. It is an agent that can plan, adapt, and execute multi-step research, handling due diligence, regulatory reviews, or scientific literature sweeps with minimal human guidance. That is the practical meaning of scary good a system that reasons, remembers, and acts with a level of independence and depth that rivals human experts. Gemini 3's technical leap was not just an engineering story. It became a market event. Within weeks of its launch, Google pushed Gemini-powered features into search at a pace the company had never attempted before. Search, Workspace, and Android all absorbed the new model with barely a pause, making Gemini 3 the fastest rollout in Google's history. The effect was immediate, user numbers soared, and even long-standing tools were quietly replaced by Gemini-powered agents. Executives at Google described this as a new era for information, but inside the company, some teams voiced concerns about the speed of deployment. Risk and legal groups flagged the challenge of stress testing a model this complex when updates reached billions overnight. Outside Google, policymakers and regulators found themselves scrambling to keep up. The European Union AI Act, set to phase in new rules for frontier models by August, suddenly looked outpaced by reality. In Washington, draft guidelines for reporting and evaluation circulated, but none had teeth or timelines that matched the velocity of Gemini's adoption. Industry analysts pointed to a growing oversight gap. The world's most capable AI systems were now embedded in daily life, but oversight mechanisms lagged months or years behind. 
Calls for mandatory reporting and third-party audits grew louder, but enforcement remained patchwork at best. For safety researchers, this acceleration was the risk multiplier. The question was not just what Gemini 3 could do, but how quickly its capabilities could be amplified, copied, or misused before anyone outside the company fully understood the consequences. In that window, the combination of technical power, global reach, and regulatory lag created a pressure point, one where the margin for error shrank as the stakes kept rising. Every leap in AI is not just a tech rivalry. It is a shift in who shapes knowledge, work, and power. As Google's Gemini 3 sets a new bar, the real question is how fast society can adapt. This race will not wait for anyone. What would you want to see next?